Guadalupe bass is the state fish of Texas. It can be distinguished from similar species found in Texas in that it doesn't have vertical bars like smallmouth bass. Its jaw doesn't extend beyond the eyes, as in largemouth bass, and coloration extends much lower on the body than in spotted bass. They typically don't grow over three pounds because of their tendency to reside in small, shallow streams. The Guadalupe bass is also endangered as a result of habitat destruction, decreased stream flow from things like dams, and hybridization with smallmouth bass. So if you're lucky enough to catch one, you have to throw it back by law. Now, these fish like flowing streams with lots of rocks and places to take cover from predators and other dangers. They often inhabit areas near stones cypress trees, or under large rocks, which they use for cover. They build gravel nests in shallow water, where females lay 400 to 9,000 eggs, and then the male proceeds to chase her away and guard the eggs until they hatch. Bait casting, still fishing, pole fishing, and spin casting while using an ultralight spinning rod are some of the most effective methods of catching the Guadalupe bass. For the fly fishermen, the use of light fly fishing rods works as well. Artificial baits can catch this fish, including underwater spinners, spoons, and topwater lures. Some best lures to use are plastic grubs, streamers, and small crankbaits. These are some of the best places to catch Guadalupe bass. 1. Guadalupe River The Guadalupe's confluence meets at Canyon Lake and flows 230 miles into the San Antonio Bay. It flows fastest south of Gonzalez, Texas, so your best shot is to head northbound, closer to where the river begins. 2. Colorado River the Colorado River in Texas starts near La Mesa, a couple miles south of Lubbock. The mouth of the river is located in East Matagorda Bay, stretching 862 miles long. It's the 18th longest river in the U.S. 3. San Antonio River The San Antonio River is 240 miles long and starts on the south end of the Almost Basin Park and eventually feeds into the Guadalupe River, just to the east of Green Lake, around 10 miles north of San Antonio Bay. 4. Brazos River Stretching 840 miles from Stonewall County to the Gulf of Mexico, between the Justin Hurst Wildlife Management Area and Freeport, Texas, it is also one of the longest rivers in Texas and has plenty of diversity to catch many species of freshwater bass. 5. Nueces River System The Nueces River starts at Hackberry Hollow and ends at Nueces Bay in San Antonio. The 315-mile-long stretch of river was named after the Spanish word for nuts as there were a number of pecan trees growing on its banks when it was first discovered. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and let us know down in the comments what you think about fishing endangered species.